want to ask me just to say a few words. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to say that it's my pleasure and honor to be here and also to Sir Monsi for this great initiative. Um, I think that uh, all of us here, after two years of being stuck at home, when we can only meet online, we are really craving for finally meeting uh, in person uh, we, and have this physical direct contact we were really looking forward to. Uh, as per our embassy, uh, I can see colleagues from Australia, US, this is huge embassies, uh, comparing to our uh, embassy, which is actually 11 staff only, uh, six Polish people and, and five of local staff. But we are trying our best also to to engage uh, with, uh, with the administration and I also, um, just as a follow-up to what uh, uh, Secretary of Tourism said, yes, that they are so open uh, to work with us and uh, even though it's only a month, I can really see this. This openness, sincere willingness to work with us uh, and find the areas of uh, cooperation. Um, as per embassy, we are, uh, I myself, uh, am, uh, I also introduced, I'm uh, deputy head of mission, uh, but since our embassy is so small, I actually cover most of the issues except for uh, administrative and finance. Uh, my main interest is, uh, of course, political, uh, um, uh, political uh, cooperation. Um, our embassy actually was uh, reopened only in uh, 2018 and uh, became fully operational in 2020. Uh, we hope actually to bring our foreign minister for a grand opening, but unfortunately COVID happened. Uh, but uh, um, I'm glad that uh, we, we actually haven't lost this uh, two years. Um, we had a wonderful uh, political cooperation, uh, political consultations last year. We have a visit of Secretary Locks into Poland, even though it was short. Uh, in February this year and uh, we have just last month we have a visit of our Deputy Minister for Foreign Affairs uh, Martin Przedacz uh, to Manila uh, who had great meetings uh, both in BFA and with uh, National Security, Security Advisor um, Clarita Carlos. Uh, the main reason actually why um, our Deputy Minister uh, visited the uh, Philippines was to actually brief our local partners about the uh, situation in Ukraine uh, and uh, present the uh, facts uh, first hand uh, because apart, uh, from, uh, apart from being responsible for Asia he's also responsible for, for uh, our uh, relations with uh, uh, our eastern neighbors which is uh, Russia and Ukraine so, so he could really um, provide our uh, interlocutors here with, um, with um, uh, fact-based information. And um, I could talk more about uh, our economic cooperation, which is also growing. I have to admit that uh, our trade relations uh, over the last four years increased from uh, 500 uh, uh, millions to eight to almost 900 millions. We are still hoping to, to breach this magic uh, barrier of one billion. We hope it will happen st still when I'm here yeah, in two years. Um, we have a great uh, cooperation in military areas. Uh, actually, um, 16 uh, Polish produced Black Hawk helicopters are already flying and serving here in the Philippines. And another batch uh, of 32 was contracted this year. Um, we have a good cooperation in agriculture. Uh, Poland uh, being a um, um, well-known producer of, uh, of food uh, can be a great partner for the Philippines and can uh, actually bring security, food security to, to the Philippines. Uh, we also cooperate in IT. We have IT companies present here in the Philippines. And uh, actually, when we meet with, uh, when Ambassador uh, met with uh, President uh, Bombo Marcos, uh, still in June, these three areas of cooperation were, were, were mainly uh, touched upon: um, agriculture, defense, and IT. Because our companies are really willing to engage in uh, in. Uh, making the 
economy, I mean, indigenization process of both the economy and the government of the Philippines. Uh, of course, our embassy is also uh, active in public diplomacy. Uh, usually, uh, we use this uh, uh, public tools to promote Poland, our history, our culture. However, this year, uh, the interest was in focus towards uh, Ukraine. Um, we are cooperating with the local media and special thanks to Sir Monsi because actually business, uh, uh, business news, uh, keeping business news is, is very helpful and, and wonderful partner for us. Um, um, we really want to see what is uh, happening uh, down there uh, and with the cooperation with the local media we can, we can really do that. Uh, we specially uh, sent uh, a journalist to Poland for a study tour. Monsi was among them, so he can also share her hand information because he went to the border and he can see with his own eyes what's happening there. I know that you are working for a uh, documentary on that, so probably all of you will be able to see this soon. Uh, we're also cooperating in education. Uh, we, we provided a special scholarship for Filipino students. Uh, actually, the Philippines are among uh, very few countries still in Asia can, that can apply for a special Banach scholarship uh, to Poland. Um, I can see really a lot of uh, areas we can cooperate and uh, I hope that now when the country finally reopened, we, we can really make it happen. So once again, thank you for uh, letting me uh, attend this event and, and speak to you. Thank you very much.